Police have made an arrest now in a double shooting at a playground in Cherry Hill. The victims are a mother and her 11-year-old son. WMAR 2 News Jeff Hager has more tonight, right now. Jeff. Well, Jamie, a pair of unsuspecting victims in one of the most unlikely of places, a public playground. And police are crediting their officers and witnesses with helping them arrest the suspected shooter. This playground on Seagull Avenue is a favorite among the children of Cherry Hill. I mean, kids were out here playing. I had just picked up my kids from school. That's when Dante Sims heard a woman calling out for help. Her son injured and lying on the ground. His head is not in the dirt. And when I observed, I had some of his blood from his head. It looked like he was, he was pistol whipped or something, or some, some blunt object, because he had a knot on his head, and it looks like it was a laceration there as well. Sim says he saw a through and through wound in one of the 11 year old boy's hands, but it wasn't until later that he realized the child's mother had been injured as well. I was just concerned about her son, and, and come to find out after the fact, I realized that she was shot as well. Today, Police Commissioner Michael Harrison announced officers arriving on that scene arrested 31 year old Nicole George, and she's being charged with attempted first degree murder. George lives just across the street from that playground in a public housing complex. Nicole George was speaking with the 11 year old only. And at some point, uh, Nicole George pulled out a firearm and began firing at both victims, shooting the mother and shooting the son. The content of the conversation uh, is still undetermined. A neighbor who wishes to remain anonymous says George may have mental issues and they affected her speech. She also has a son of her own, about the same age as the victim, who was not present at the time of the shooting. A shooting which has shaken parents who viewed the playground as a safe space. That is, until now. I have six kids. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All you can do is you can just pray about it and just, and just keep it moving. The police have also recovered a handgun, which they believe was used in the double shooting. Tonight, the 11-year-old boy is listed in critical but stable condition, and his mother has also been stabilized, suffering from a gunshot wound to her upper body.